Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get and uh, configure the OBS for your online classes. Um, OBS, by the way, is an open broadcaster software that is usually being used by online streamers or gamers for their YouTube channel, Facebook, or Twitch. It's an extremely powerful software that offers great uh, flexibility. So all you need to do is you go to the website obsproject.com. This program is free and open source for video recording and live streaming and you can use this in multiple platforms like windows mac os and linux so since most of us are using windows you just have to click uh, windows and it will download the program so once done downloading the program you just uh, open it and install it in your system but i'm not gonna do it now because i already have one installed in my computer so once done the first thing that you need to do is you go to tools then click the auto configuration wizard you need to tell the program what you're gonna do with obs so you have three options here either you optimize for streaming recording is secondary the second one is optimized just for recording i will not be streaming and this is the one i'm using for my online classes i usually record and later on i upload it in our google classroom then the third option is actually for a virtual camera and once you will be asked for the base resolution you just have to select your primary monitor if you're using dual monitors like like in my case and if you will be asked for the fps or the frames per second you just have to choose a 30 because the 60 frames per second is only ideal for gamers hit next and you will be seeing the final results of that automatic configuration just hit apply settings on the left you can see here and add or delete different scenes and in the middle next to it is actually for the sources so the first thing that you need to add is the audio input capture or basically your microphone just hit okay choose the microphone that you are using so in my case i'm actually using the key 6a3 microphone of fine fine so just hit okay as you can see here the indicator is already uh, moving telling me that the microphone is working the next one is the camera so you have to click plus or add then uh, go to video capture device and try to rename it as cam especially if you will be adding an additional camera later on so i'll just tap uh, cam and uh, choose my webcam um, hit okay so i'll just rename this as cam and mic um, th this audio mixer will tell you what's going on with your audio and uh, later on I'll be showing you how to set up some filters just to uh, sound uh, professional or you know but just you know try to remove some background noise um, in your recording the next one is actually that the scene transitions uh, later on we'll be adding the scenes and for for us to prevent from switching from one scene to another automatically we'll apply this this particular transition on the right is for the controls when you start recording, uh, you start the virtual camera so that wh whatever is captured in your screen will be the ones being seen by your students. You can also have the studio mode. And this is actually important if uh, you guys uh, will be um, editing your presentation on the left and uh, you just have to like uh, click transition and whatever is edited on the left will actually be shown on the right side of your screen. For the basic settings, you can actually check the video bitrate if you're streaming but for recording you just have to look at the directory where your videos will be stored for the audio you just have to make sure that everything is disabled and uh, hit okay okay for lecture purposes or for your online classes you just have to click the plus button on the left and uh, you can just uh, type here lecture then as you can see here the container panel uh, turned uh, black so you just have to add again the audio capture so you already added uh, the microphone earlier so just uh, hit okay so you have here the microphone then for the video capture device you also have the camera so you can uh, actually resize this one and if you wanna like uh, trim your camera you just have to press the alt move this in both sides so that uh, you will crop your video because you're not really that important in the lecture after that one you add another source for example if you will be adding a powerpoint presentation just click the, the plus 
either you go for the uh, display capture for your second monitor or your primary monitor or you can basically add a media source later on uh, i'll be showing you how you're gonna like uh, play your recorded video for your other classes and then you open your uh, powerpoint presentation then uh, you add the uh, window capture and you select that uh, particular point powerpoint presentation and uh, simply hit ok so now you have your powerpoint presentation and you can resize the window so you can see here the preview on the left and if you don't want your students to see that one so you just have to move this one to the left and maybe you can uh, extend this a little bit uh, farther to the right okay and uh if, if you will be uh, presenting a recorded lecture video that's uh that's what i usually do in my class uh, in the first uh, period i record my lecture video and i will just uh, present it in my next class as a live video feed so you can add another scene just click plus then you just uh, put here recorded video then in the source you can click the plus button then go to media source uh, just hit okay if you're not uh, planning to add other uh, media sources uh, it's okay to just uh, put here the default click the result playback when uh, source becomes active you can also uncheck that one if, if you like then you just have to browse the presentation so assuming i'll be discussing or i'll be showing the market structures hit okay then i'll just have to resize this this window to to maximize and uh in order for your students to hear your audio you just need to click this one advanced um advanced audio properties i mean then you just have to select monitor and output we need to understand that the different uh, market structures could influence the quantity okay in some instances for some um, structures that will be produced and uh, sold in the market um, in order to record your uh, presentation all you need to do is click the start recording then in the scenes you click lecture or whatever scene that you guys will be putting there later on and then in the window capture you can actually add a display capture okay so this will um, capture the entire uh, screen okay you can also like uh, have the powerpoint presentation if you like but in my case i'm actually trying to capture um, this one uh, because this is in pdf and it cannot be seen in uh, in the in the options okay so i have here and i can actually enable also my my camera so i can move this up if i want my students to see me while i'm having the presentation so now i'm gonna show you the different uh, filters that i'm using uh, just to make uh, my sound or my voice better so right click on the microphone you hit on the filters and uh, you can add several audio filters so i'll just have to click this one so the first thing that you need to do is add the noise suppression and this is very important if you have a very noisy background um, I, I think you guys can hear the fan of my pc so i'm actually trying to eliminate that one by using this particular uh, filter then the next one that uh, you need to put here is uh, what we call compressor this will actually even out your voice your voice can be can be uh, smoother and even even if uh, you're far or close to the mic uh, the the voice will, will actually like uh, stay the same so even if you are uh, far or close to the mic then uh, the the audio quality is, is is basically the same then the the next one is the gain so this will actually ensure that you can be heard by your students so you just have to put here plus two in my case i'm just uh having plus two aside from the gain you also have to put here the limiter okay this will actually uh like uh prevent your voice from breaking uh, like if uh, you will be shouting on the microphone the the voice will actually be like minus six 
minus 6 dB. So even if you shout, it will actually be uh, filtered. And the last one is uh, plugin. So if you guys are wanting to plan professional, you just have to like uh, install this plugin. So I'm using the Marvel GEQ. I can actually change the different settings. Okay, the other are actually uh, presets that uh, you can use here. So for the bass is on the left, for the middle, and if you want to like have a higher pitch, if your voice is too bassy, then you can actually change this one. And uh, close. That's all for now. If you have any questions, feel free to ask it in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye.